In Waxhaw, North Carolina, on the night of September 8, 1994, Jan Emore found out that some police officers are willing to make the ultimate sacrifice even in situations beyond the line of duty. Jan Emore was on her way home from work with her three-year-old son, Vance. Approaching the railroad crossing from the opposite side were Jeanette Smith and her daughter. We saw that the car was stopped on the train track. Why is she doing on the track? The car stopped. She's just sitting there. And then finally she gets out and goes to the officer who was parked behind her. And at that time we realized it was Lance. He helped with our wedding in 1992. What do you think happened to it? I don't know. It just started squirting and then it stalled. Oh, my God. In the direction the train was coming that night, you can't see the train until it's right there at you. And then she goes and gets back in the car, and I couldn't understand. So it was like, Lance, don't mess with the car. Just get this woman out of this car. Get out of there. There's a train coming. Oh, my God. Come on. And my daughter said she's getting a baby out of the car. She's messing with the car seat. She's trying to get it open. The thought of a child being in a car and not being able to get out of the car, I thought she would die. I didn't know whether they were alive or dead. You're just praying until the train's gone by. Oh, dear God, did they get out of the way? When the train cleared it and we saw Lance standing there with this lady and this little boy, uh, it was a miracle. I mean, that's all you could say was, uh, my daughter says, Mom, I never saw a miracle. I just saw one now. I could not get the car seat undone. When I finally got it to release, I just got to the doorway of the car before the train was rushing by the front of the car, and I did not understand why it didn't hit the car. I was, I was kind of shrouded in advance to protect him from the impact of the train hitting the car, but the impact just never came. Oh, yeah. I remember thinking to myself, you know, they're, they're fixing to die. And I reached back down and grabbed the front of the car and I picked up with everything I had. And I remember yelling, screaming, you know, come on. And I felt the front of the car come up off the ground. So I just pushed as hard as I could. At the point where I dropped the car, I felt the, the train brushing against my, my clothing as it went by. So it was, uh, it was close. And just kept repeating, that was just too close. That was close. And the little boy sort of reached up and pushed us apart and looked up at me and he said, uh, you're my policeman. And uh, we hugged him, and uh, I think both of us started to cry at that point. It's been two months since the incident. <laughs> Every day when we get up, I, I know that I may not have had him, you know, here with me today. And I may not have been here to be with him and his father. You know, so I, I got like this extension on life that's really neat. Yeah, run real fast. 
it's made me slow down and if it means doing the wash or sitting in the floor playing trucks we sit in the floor and play trucks get somebody else to do the wash or i'll do it later or we'll buy more clothes i'm playing trucks <laughs> waxhaw police officer lance land and the Yemore family have become friends lance saved vance's life and my life there's nothing in any kind of uh, police code that says you have to get on a train track with a speeding train coming. You know, he's a hero. Definitely. There's a feeling that you get when you, you realize that ordinary people have the power to change the course of someone else's life if they just take the initiative to do it. The situation that I was in doesn't stop me from understanding the importance of keeping my child in a car seat. You just need to really educate yourself and be very choosy uh, about the car seat that you pick so that you're not only looking at it for impact resistance, but also to get the children out quickly. It just I just never looked at mine in that light before. All right. I'm proud of Lance for what he does. I'm proud of the fact that he did it and, and lived to tell about it because I, I have my doubts, but I'm very proud of him. I always wanted to be able to instill in my son that police officers were cool, but Vance thinks Lance is just the coolest, you know, maybe second to his daddy, but the coolest. <laughs>